Welcome to SpaceX. Are you excited for our journey today? Good. Well, on behalf of our entire team here, can I just say that we are absolutely honored to have you with us. Hmm. Now, for today's briefing, before we do board the starship, I will be using my tablet to go over everything just to keep myself on task. I hope that's not too distracting for you. First thing is first, though. Did they offer you the sparkling water at check-in? They did. Good. Good. I figured they probably did, but I always like to double-check. On your way over, did your assistant give you the sunscreen we provided? Marvelous. Okay, were you able to apply that successfully? You had your assistant help you, of course, of course. Yes, that is of the utmost importance. As you are aware, we will be going beyond the Earth's atmosphere, therefore losing whatever protection it affords our skin from the sun's damaging rays. Uh, and, you know, it would be an absolute disaster if you came back with a few wrinkles. Mm. I'm sure your assistant also let you know that when we come back from our journey, made it back home to Earth safe and sound, we will be having a full day set aside for some anti-aging facial treatments for all of our passengers, as well as some deep tissue massages, okay? Perfect. All right, well, if you would just turn to the side there, you will see your bespoke uh, designer spacesuit. It will match mine. Everyone has matching, yes, as well as your eye protection. You do have a very good eye. Yes, that was in fact designed by Yeezy. Yes, we are honored. Yep. So I will go ahead and exit the room for a moment. There is a button over there by the door. Once you have changed into your spacesuit, just go ahead, press that button, and then I'll come back in and I will help you put on your safety harness, and then we'll begin the briefing, okay? Wonderful. Take your time. Wonderful, thank you for pressing that button. How is the suit fitting you? Everything looking okay, feeling snug? Mind if I just check an area really quick? Okay. Yep, yeah, that looks good. Right around the neck there, that looks like that's fitting okay. Everything zipped up properly in the back. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, for the eye protection, allow me to take this moment just to remind you that, just like you would on Earth, please make sure not to look directly at the sun, and please do wear that eye protection at all times. Yes, if you find that you are not able to comply with those instructions, I would also like to remind you of the waiver that you signed before arriving today. Just, you know, letting everyone know that SpaceX is not liable for any sort of permanent retina damage you might sustain, okay? Yes, that eye protection is very, very important, yes. Okay, I have your harness here, if you are okay with it. Might I step a little closer and help you get into it, adjust the straps, make sure everything fits comfortably? Perfect, thank you. I'm just going to come in here. Just loop that through that one. Mm -hmm. If you could just put your arm there. Yep, lovely. Thank you so much. Bring it back around this side. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, and then right around the belly here. Yes. Okay. Just get that through the strap there. Is that too tight? You're not sucking in, are you? All right, all right. Okay, just get that. Pull that through. Just like that. Okay. Wonderful, okay. okay. Every 
everything looks to be fitting out right there. Let me go ahead and go grab my tablet again. I'll be right back with you, okay? Lovely. So, everything's still fitting comfortably there. Let me tug. And when I grab here, shake that a little bit. So that still stay tight on the back. Good, good. Okay, wonderful. Well, that looks like it fits you perfectly. As we have discussed on the phone before, on this journey there will be many opportunities to experience zero gravity. The harness is for your safety as well as your comfort in the event that zero gravity becomes a little troublesome at times. We have various retractable hooks all across the starship there will be a sign posted above so that you can find them easily, but in the event that you do find zero gravity to be troublesome, you would like to just stay in one place, or you don't really want to put in the, um, you don't want to exert the energy to maintain one position, you just pull that clip out, clip it onto your harness there, and you should be able to maintain whatever position you would like. Be that your bed, the chairs at dinner, the viewing platform, the lavatory, it's there for your comfort. Hmm? No, as for myself and the other flight attendants, we will actually be wearing a kind of magnetic boot um, so that we stay grounded to the ship at all times to ensure the utmost efficiency in our service of you and the other passengers. Should you wish to make the switch, we do have magnetic boots that we can provide to all passengers. They tend to call them gravity boots, albeit incorrectly, of course. But I will warn you that Mr. Musk has installed a sort of competition to see who can last in zero gravity the longest without requiring the magnetic boots. However, should you find that you do not wish to partake in the competition, and that you find zero gravity a little troublesome at times, the boots will be there for your comfort, okay? Lovely. All right, now before I get into all of my fun briefing details here, I do need to check with you on one of your meals, actually. Your assistant sent over your menu selection, so thank you so much for getting with them on that for us. Now, Unfortunately, the dinner of seared scallops in an herb butter sauce, topped with caviar that you selected for the day that we come into contact with the moon. Love the theme you're going for there with the scallops and the moon. Anyway, um, we were unfortunately abled to... unable. <laughs> My apologies. It's, it's, quite, um, it's quite stressful when we have an issue like this. Um, we were unfortunately unable to locate the aged 35 years uh, Russian Reserve caviar. So, instead, we have actually upgraded it to the Golden Reserve caviar, um, and just, we wanted to confirm if that would be alright with you. Yes, yes, that is the one sourced locally here in California from White Sturgeon. You know your caviar. Perfect. Okay, lovely. I will just make a note to tell our chef that you are fine with that. That is okay. Please proceed with the upgrade. I'll just put this note here to let our chef know. Alright, and then bounce back over here. Wonderful. Now I get to go over all of your pre-flight boarding details. So I will be the one guiding you to your seat on the viewing deck, where we will get you all nice and strapped in with your harness. You'll be able to mingle with the other passengers for a bit until we begin the takeoff procedures. So let me just get my checklist ready here for us. All right. So upon the actual ignition, you will experience a high degree of vibration throughout the entire ship. We'd just like to assure our passengers that that is completely normal, 
and everything is going as anticipated, so please do not fret over that portion of your experience. Just try to imagine it as a, a deep tissue massage. That'll make it much more pleasant for you. Let me just get that there. Also, during peak acceleration, we will be experiencing three Gs. So, this is my time to remind you that if you feel the need to use the restroom at all, go ahead and do that before we board, because you will not be able to get out of your seat once takeoff has begun, okay? Alright, lovely. Another point of order, once we have finished our takeoff, we have exited Earth's atmosphere, we will undergo MECO, or Main Engine Cutoff. At that point, you will experience a sensation of temporary weightlessness. Now, some passengers truly enjoy this experience and have raved about it. It is otherworldly, they say. But for others, less so. If you find yourself in the latter group, we would like to let you and all the other passengers know that you can find a sick bag in the compartment next to you in your chair. You'll find them all aboard the ship, but especially for your first Miko, that's where you'll find it. This is also my time to remind you that should you feel the need to use said sick bag, please ensure um, that all of the contents in the transition from you to the bag make it into the bag. Because, again, I will remind you that we will all be experiencing the weightlessness of zero gravity to include everything on the starship. Uh, and you would be amazed at how complicated that kind of cleanup in zero gravity can be. So just really make sure the bag fully covers your entire mouth, please. And thank you. Right. Now, the mission commander does have a harness sign that they'll be turning on and off to let you know when you are free to roam about the various cabins above the starship, okay? Wonderful. Main engine cutoff will be one of those times, actually I believe it'll be the first time, that you are allowed to remove your harness and move about freely. At that point, we will begin to orbit the Earth and we will rendezvous with a booster to pick up the remaining necessary fuel for our trip to the moon and back, alright? I can't remember, please remind me, are you one of the passengers that was interested in the Mars expedition? You were? Okay, lovely. This particular rendezvous is really meant as a benefit to you and any other passengers that are interested in that journey as we would need to rendezvous with a few boosters along the way to pick up the necessary equipment. This trip is short enough that we would not need to do that, but we wanted you to see that we have it all worked out, how smooth the process will be. I know that this particular portion of the Mars journey was raising some concerns for some, so this will give you the chance to kind of get some first-hand experience with that, okay? Wonderful. We will be completing two full orbits around the Earth itself. They'll take approximately 45 minutes each. You will be allowed to be up and out of your harness at this point to fully experience the wonder and the beauty that is the viewing of our planet from space. As you do so, we will be preparing the spaceship and will be aligning it for the proper positioning for most efficient fuel burn into the moon's gravitational atmosphere. This step is called translunar injection. Yes, you might hear the cabin crew referring to it as TLI for short. Mm -hmm. Now, as I mentioned, you will be able to move about the cabin freely whenever the engine is shut off. And it'll take about three to four days of travel to get from the Earth to the moon. So for most of that, you'll be able to move about. But as I mentioned, the mission commander will turn the signs on and off, should anything change. Um, we have plenty of onboard entertainment for you. Naturally, Wi-Fi is available at all times for any streaming needs. 
and it will also allow you to post any selfies of your trip thus far on Twit on X. Um, as we've previously discussed, we do have the chef aboard that will be taking care of all of your meal needs. Should you want to change uh, any of your selected menu items, do let him know that day. He'll do the best with what he has, but we've already preloaded the food on there, so any substitutions could get a little tricky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As well as um, we do have a gym room available with adapted magnetic equipment there, so you can select the kind of gravity that you would like to have applied to your particular weightlifting session should you wish it. We also have some um, ankle weights should you want to run on a treadmill, okay? Lovely, lovely. Uh, one point that we do like to mention to our guests is that once we have reached the moon, your harness sign will come back on. Please do not ignore this harness sign. I know it will be a little difficult to do, as we'll be very close, if not right on top of the moon at this point. Um, but it is necessary for you to return to your seat because we will be performing a very necessary velocity reduction burn that must occur when we are at the lowest point over the moon. I know, I know, that's quite disappointing for many, um, but we do have to do it at the lowest point of the altitude on the moon. Uh, due to the Oberth effect, there's there's really no way to get around it. Um, it is absolutely necessary to perform the velocity reduction burn at the lowest point of altitude, unless you want to be slingshotted off into space for all eternity. I mean, we could do that too, or we could just all clip into our harnesses and perform the reduction burn. Um, so we do just appreciate your cooperation on this particular thing. You'll be allowed to exit your harness, and keep enjoying gazing upon the moon after the velocity reduction burn has been completed. Um, but just please, please follow the directions that the mission commander gives to you, okay? Lovely. Wonderful. Thank you. I, I knew you'd understand, but some of our other Now, as soon as that velocity reduction burn is completed, as I've mentioned, you'll be able to get up and move about freely. There is a total of five burns anticipated for this particular trip, four in-space maneuvers, that one included, and then the initial takeoff itself, all right? Lovely. We did have some concerns raised by some of the other very astute passengers. Um, about the timing of the trip, so we would just like to assure all of you that we have timed it perfectly. So that as we arrive to the moon, the side that we will be on and viewing for the longest duration will in fact be the side that the sun is reflecting at that moment. It will be fully illuminated. You won't just be staring into the dark void. <laughs> right, right. Wouldn't want that. Can't take those selfies with the dark void now, can we? <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, bearing all of that in mind, after that velocity reduction burn around the moon, we will begin the slingshot back to Earth for the next three to four days. And at some point in those three to four days, depending on how restless the passengers get, myself and the other space flight attendants will go ahead and do our atmospheric re-entry briefing go over all important points for that, what to expect, and how to best prepare yourself, all right? Wouldn't want to overwhelm you right now. We also prefer that the information is fresh in mind at that point. Lovely. Lovely. Well, do you have any questions for me before we begin your boarding on the starship? No? Wonderful. Let me get this put away here. And if you'll just follow me, we can welcome you aboard the starship. Let's go see some stars. <laughs> 